Hello everybody, welcome to linuxl.com. In this video, I am going to explain the write file. In write file, the method using is striping with distributed priority. So the data is spreaded across number of disks using this array and also provide redundancy with help of distributed priority. WriteFi is a best cost effective solution for both performance and redundancy. Minimum number of disks required for WriteFi is 3. One of the important part in WriteFi is reading rate is much better than writing rate due to priority is overhead. Let's go for the configuration of write partition. First check disk availability by using lsplk. Here I have 5 disks. I already partitioned this 5 disks. Now go for the creation of write. Before you go for creating write partition, first check the disk block. It is here partitioned by write or uh, any other like LVM or normal partition. For that you should check mdadm hyphen 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 e and dev stv2f press enter no block is detected so it is free to configure write partition and also check without mentioning block so this all block is configured as write here the id of write will be shown here fd Next, I am going to create writes partition mdadm iphone iphone create mention the device name md5 and you can give any other name and mention level it is write level 5 and mention the number of disk write iphone disk sorry devices I am going to queue three devices and mention the device names dev sd v2 t iphone 1 press enter now the three disk is added into a write 5 partition to check that use mdadm iphon d dev md5 press enter now here you can see the details of write file is shown here here array size is 10 gp is shown i configured three disk each disk as 5 gb 5 gb totally 15 gb but write file taken 10 gb because the formula is n minus 1 number of disk minus 1 so total disk minus 1 disk that's why it's shown here 10 GB at the at the end it shows three number of device status so write file is created now if you want to check the write status for single block means run if you want to check the single block status for write by configuration means run this command here it shows that particular block write level is 5 and the number of devices connected and other details and also it shows the role of device this is device 0 so next I am going to mount this uh, write device first of all set the file system for this uh, write device by using mkfs.ext4 I am going to set with ext4 type dev md5 press enter now the file system is created for this write device now create one mount point I am going to create I'm going to create mkdir write 
5 press enter I'm going I'm going to use this directory as my mount point let's check the UID for that device LK ID dev md5 press enter now I got the UID I'm going to mount with this UID type vim etc fs tab paste that UID in this location close the configuration file now execute mount command using mount hyphen av now the device is mounted now check the device df h using here your device is mounted and uh, available size is 9 GB now go to that mount point create file and direct file or directory I'm going to create on file enter some content here again I'm going to create on directory so this is the directory here on file and on directory is presented now come out this is the configuration of right file now I'm going to check the fault tolerance of this right file configuration for fault tolerance I'm going to add a device so adding a spare device in right file is called hot spare so add then now I'm going to add the device type mdadm if I can manage I can even add enter the right device name dev md5 now enter the device name to add sd e1 press enter now now yes the e1 is added if I want to check mdadm hyphen d enter the right device press enter now you can see spare devices is added active devices 3 and working devices is 4 so zero fail device now I am going to test the fault tolerance for that I am going to fail one device at manually by executing mdadm hyphen hyphen manage hyphen hyphen fail enter the right device block mdadfy and mention the device to block dev sd c1 I am going to fail sdc1 press enter now you can see sdc1 is faulty and here also message will be shown now check the status of write md device md5 press enter now you can see fail device is one that is fault device sdc and another one device is rebuilding that is sde is rebuilding at uh, sdc one place you can see the rate build status is 10 percent is completed again you can check 21 percent is completed so method of replacing from one disk to fail disk is called hot swapping so wait for this rebuild process now you can see the automatically this process is taking if one disk is failed another disk will be rebuilding now rebuilding process is completed here you can see active devices is 3 working devices is 3 and failed devices 1 0 spare devices now you can see sd3 sde1 this is the rebuilded device the state of that device is active 
now go to that moon point now check the data is available or not here we can see the data is still available now open that file press enter see the content of the file is also presenting this is the fault tolerance in write fi concept so far we discuss about write fi with striping and distributed priority system and also we check the fault tolerance of write fi thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel linux help for further tutorial visit linuxhelp.com any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com